Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. This is the simple 12 volt DC motor which is commonly used in radiators or vehicles as a cooling fan. So I will convert this uh, DC motor into low RPM alternator. So as we know uh, all DC motors can produce electricity when we rotate them but uh, those uh, uh, radiator motors are not so efficient when we use them as a uh, generator. So um, how we can make them efficient um, keep watching this video till end and as you can see I am rotating it with hands it is producing 0.5 volts uh, approximately. So after modification um, it will produce almost um, 3 volts on the same speed. Let's start uh, first of all unbend these uh, hooks and remove the back cover. Now remove the router from casing. So here you can check the casing um, with magnets. And here is the bearing, front bearing. Uh, remove it. Also uh, remove these um, seals because we are going to unwind all the windings. Now also unbend all these hooks where all the bindings are connected. Now search for a point from where the binding is starting and start removing the bindings from that point that starting point. So here it is. You can see. So like this start uh, unbinding all the wire. As you can see uh, the wire has been removed and now I am going to rewind this router with, with wire size number SWG29. Here if you can see this wire, the size of this wire, wire is SWG29 or 29. Let's start first of all remove the insulation uh, from edge of the wire by burning it like this and then scratching the wire with your nails like this here if you can see insulation has been removed from the edge of the wire connect the edge of the wire with one of the hook uh, see how I am doing and make sure it should be turned two or three times along with the hook uh, see how I am doing uh, by doing this, more proper connection will be established. And then start wounding the wire and um, be careful, uh, you have to leave 4 empty spaces like this 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 empty spaces between uh, the coil. So be careful at this position. 
so this is one turn this is second and here is the third by doing so make 100 turns so once after completing the 100 turns um, see how I am doing uh, this is the hook from where we have started and this is the next hook so attach or bend the wire with the hook like this so you will get the mark burn this mark and then remove the isolation or uh, insulation from this uh, marking point like this then connect this uh, wire with the next hook like this now start bounding next coil from next float so start it from next and end is also the next to the previous one so by a same process complete 100 turns one, once again Uh, after completing the 100 turns on the second slot, um, repeat the process by marking the wire and then removing the insulation and um, continue uh, the same process, I mean uh, by doing 100 turns on each slot, continue this process until all the slots are filled. So I just have completed the last coil and connect the end of this coil with the hook uh, from where you have started bounding the first uh, coil. So see clearly this is the hook from where we have started bounding our first coil very first coil and uh, connect the end of this coil with this hook. So. Uh, see first of all I am marking and then uh, remove the insulation like this so here you can see I am connected uh, I am connecting the end with this hook Now cut the wire as the process is finished. Now bend all these hooks. Now attach the bearing and reassemble the motor. all done uh, now let's test the motor by rotating it with hand and see what happens so here you can see almost 3 volts or more than 3 volts 3.45 4 volts so this is the result and now let me attach some LED bulbs 
with it to show you how they will glow by rotating it with hands. So here you can see how easily uh, this motor is producing enough electricity to glow this panel of LED lights. Thanks for sparing time. How did you found this video? Please do comment below and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for more videos like this.